Hey guys, today I will show you how I created this robot which is my favorite look so far. I can show you how I created the headpiece because I made it in Austria at the World Body Painting Festival. But I can show you how I did the body painting which took me about 6 to 8 hours so let's go. First of all I sketched out the different features of my robot. Of course you could make a sketch beforehand but since I'm not the best painter on paper, I don't do that. I just paint onto my body whatever comes to my mind. And yeah, so I do that kind of spontaneous. If I do a recreation, I of course look at my reference pictures. But since this is an original look, I just paint whatever comes to my mind. I think I just said the same thing twice. Anyways. I almost forgot to say that I obviously already put in my contact lenses and covered up my brows. Since my sketch probably looks pretty confusing and you can't really see it that good anyways, I won't even try to explain what I painted on there and just move on by filling in my face and my shoulder pads in white. Therefore I just used some white water activated paint which always looks hella patchy. After that I started to fill in my skeleton inspired metal stuff I have going on there with silver, therefore I used some Merrill metallic powder and some paradise paint in silver. I don't know if you can see the difference but this is the metallic powder and that is the paradise paint. My robot obviously has a human shape since I'm a human and I paint a robot onto my body and because of that I like to follow some human shapes or systems like the skeleton and the muscle system because I think it just looks more natural if you can say natural in case of a robot. I hope you get what I mean and yeah so I just followed that a little bit for my metal bone whatever stuff I have going on there and since my robot gets its energy out of a human heart I think it just makes even more sense to follow some human structures and stuff. I also painted these arteries coming out of the heart in silver and then I filled in my heart. Once I was done with the silver and the heart I started to fill in the giant gear I have behind my heart and therefore I just used a mixture of black and white water activated paint to create this dark grey. And when I'm done with my gear, the super confusing part begins when I paint on all of the cables in different colors. This is confusing enough to paint but to explain it's just impossible. <laughs> it's yeah, basically you just paint some lines bending around the bony silver whatever stuff you painted on beforehand and I can't I can't explain it to you. Just try to see what I do. And what is even more fun than painting on some squiggly colorful lines? You're right. Filling in the gaps between all of these squiggly colorful lines with black. And here I just quickly wanted to show you the video in real time. So as you can see, it took me a while. Are you bored yet? Still watching? Okay, so let's move on. I also painted my ears black because I think it just looks way cooler without ears because it looks more like a robot and not like a human. And if you don't have a headpiece you might also paint your ears black. Yeah and this is when I started to shade which is as confusing as the painting process of everything because the motive is, it just is confusing. So I can't explain you like every single detail I shaded because that's impossible. You would like, okay, bye, after one second, so yeah. But here I switched to highlighting so I can explain that a little bit. I just went around the, like, the edges of the gear with um, 
white water activated paint and blended that out a little bit and sometimes I just made a little line and did not blend that out. Gosh words. <laughs> yeah, anyways I switched back to shading and yeah, I basically just I used eyeshadows for shading, that's what I can tell you. And I just thought where would this thing catch a shadow onto? And like the things that were deeper inside of me. Oh gosh, okay. These things would be darker, so I shaded them with more black and gray eyeshadow. And the things that are on top would be lighter, so I just highlighted them and shaded just a little bit around the edges to make them pop. I hope you're not more confused than before my explanation. Anyways, for the final touches I just painted on some dots on my shoulder pads and in my face. I also painted on a eyeliner, applied some mascara and some fake lashes and some liquid lipstick. I also glued on these little gears with some skin adhesive and I painted on these balls which connect my arms to my shoulders. I hope you get what was my in intention. Oh, I'm so bad with words in this tutorial. <laughs> Sorry. So that was it. I hope you enjoyed the video even though my voiceover was bah. <laughs> yeah, just yeah. Bye. <laughs>